Hi everyone, in this vlog I'm uh, on Dorchester Fishing Club stretch of the River Froome, the most westerly chalk stream that we have in England and home to the British record uh, grayling. My aim for today is to try and beat my personal best which is a pound and a half and I'm going to be fly fishing for them. Um, I have had a three pound two ounce fish but uh, that was trotting with maggots during flood conditions. The first thing I noticed as I jumped out of the car was all these things, all these little bugs. They're everywhere. And having seen those little beetles, I've grabbed my attempt at, uh, well, I suppose they'd be Cochibundu. So peacock curl underneath and foam on top. Maybe that'll catch. We've had a lot of rain recently, so I've got some flexi worms. And it's September, so you can't really go without a daddy long legs pattern. The lockdown period gave me a chance to tie some various bugs, shrimps, um, also some classics like the red tag, gold ribbed hare's ear, and uh, some dries, so it's like an F fly variant, uh, Adam's parachute, and that's a shrimp on a barbie. I have a guest with me today, and he's a complete purist. He was offended when I asked him if he wanted to borrow some polarised glasses. Good on him, I say. Everyone that came here used three flies and all caught three or four pound fish on a regular basis. I'd be too pressured. If I blank today, I'm actually doing those fish a favour, aren't I? Somehow, I've got to try and get the line upstream through this monstrously long leader, which I may have to shorten, actually, having just tied the flies on. Into a tree. Start. Well, this was my banker spot. Plenty of minnows, some nice gravel. Perhaps I spooked them, perhaps they weren't here in the first place. But with it being so low and so shallow, you'd think they would hole up in the deepest pools, whereas the trout you'd think would be in the shallow water where there's most oxygen. Perhaps they're hidden away, perhaps they're not feeding. Oh no, all those doubts have started. I've spotted a fish, but I think it's a trout. Let's have a go at it anyway. Yes, <laughs> he's on. Not going to win any prizes. A for swinging it in, and B for touching it with dry hands, but if I'm quick. I guess Mark has seen nothing rising and uh, comes back and tells me he's decided to call it a day. As he sat down, two huge grayling were spooked, the first big fish that I'd seen all day. So buoyed by that sighting and the fact that I no longer had someone upstream of me uh, spooking fish, uh, my spirits were lifted and I made my way upriver. These fish are so spooky, the grayling are tucked underneath all the ranunculus, not showing at all, and the trout that are about are spooking within, you're getting 20 feet of them, 20, 30 feet, and they're gone, they're seeing me before I can see them. Yeah, I think I need to shorten the leader down and present a fly to them in the traditional manner. So that's what I'm going to do. A little bit smaller, a little bit more subtle, and a little bit more natural looking. I was kicking myself because I'd made a big mistake by insisting on a Euro nymphing approach. Shortening the leader and using the fly line to carry the f a lighter fly had almost instant results. Anyone that follows my vlogs knows I've got a bit of a, bit of a thing for adipose fins. There's its adipose. Let's get the record down. Caddis nymph. So there's its ballast to keep it anchored. And there's its home.
Finally, I was into a good fish and it was a grayling. Just as I got the net ready to slip under it, it drew the hook. I couldn't help but think I probably had my one and only chance and, and blown it. size of it. No. Get in! <laughs> By carumba, that's enormous. I don't know who needs oxygen more, me or him. That's the hook out. What an absolute lump. What a fish, now I can go home. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better ending than that. If you enjoyed the vlog, please subscribe, press the notification button. If you didn't, well, maybe you'll like the next one, so press it anyway, because I'm an all-rounder and I don't just fly fish. Thanks for watching. Sun and waving grass.